In this presentation we will learn about PF5 bond length with respect to Berry pseudo rotation. First of all we must understand, under which state the bond length differ. For PF5, in solid state the axial bond is not equal to the equatorial bond, as shown in the figure. However in other state, mainly gas the bond length are found to be same. This is caused due to constant vibration between the bond at high speed and this mechanism is called Berry pseudo rotation it is a type of vibration which causes constant interchanging of two axial bond and two equatorial bond with one pivoted atom fixed this mechanism is favored when the size of atom is smaller which decreases the electrostatic repulsion thus this interchanging of bond at high vibration makes the bond appear to be same. In case of PF5, it requires 3.6 kilocalories per mole of energy to continuously change its structure from one trigonal bipyramidal to other with intermediate square base pyramidal structure. The other examples are iron carbonyl, vanadium fluoride, and methyl phosphorus etrifluoride. In this presentation, we learned what is Berry pseudo rotation. We also learned some of the compound that undergoes this mechanism. Let us discuss some questions. Is there any difference in arrangement of PCL3F2 and PCL2F3? If yes, then how and what is Bent rule? Thank you. Hope you like this presentation.